Ever since I've gotten to college, it's been quite the experience. It's been, I think, the most I've grown all year. In this video, I just wanted to cook and chat. Kind of just talk about a lot of things that have been going on in my life. How I've been feeling, how I've been thinking. Also bring you along to some adventures with my friends. Like, you gotta get low. <laughs> and just overall chat with you. Kind of like I'm writing in my diary. Okay, let's get started. So good. On Sunday evenings is when I do the majority of the cooking. Got a ton of groceries. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put away those groceries. But tonight my friend is gonna come over and help me cook a goosey soup. I remember before coming to college, I was so scared. I was like, how is this gonna work? If you know me, I have a handful of friends and I try to keep my circle small, as cliche as that might sound, just because I'm scared. I'm scared of spreading myself out too thin. I'm scared of the idea of having too many people knowing about me and knowing about my life. I'm scared about the fact that when I let too many into my life then I start to lose quality as I gain quantity and it's just been a fear that I, I had to face as I came into this new environment because I'm surrounded by so many great people Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I've just had to take it one person at a time even till this day I still struggle with this it's very hard for me to cultivate relationships because friendships and relationships are something I don't take for granted I feel like when I let someone into my life or I let myself into someone's life that despite how long that relationship lasts we're gonna change and we're gonna grow it's been going <laughs> onion oh, tomatoes this is onion no <laughs> <laughs> You know, completely. First, you, I, I take my job very seriously. You don't understand. This is the batter mm -hmm. that we need. You see how she's beating it? <laughs> That's how you, you know it's good. But I beat it. Uh -huh. Did you put the onions in there? Yeah. Because we need more or because. No, I just put onions in just to give it a small, small taste. It's very small water. That's enough. <laughs> you don't want to be too, too watery. Okay. You'll be drinking sand. You don't want sand. <laughs> so what you want, obviously, yeah, you're going to add small, small bits of water. And you're going to mix. So we're going to add more water? Yeah, but very, very small amount. What type of texture are you trying to get to? You're trying to get like a thick, but not too thick. So like me. Hee hee hee. I gotta cut it off. I gotta let it Give it to me, please. You hold it low into the oil. I, I hold my fight oil. <laughs> Look at fresh juice. Oh, that was a test. You said that was a test? That was a test to see how you react. Oh. Pass. Oh, wow. Okay. Somehow we ended up here. Do you want to explain what you've done so far? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you put one, one for it and two. We'll put it in the so, microwave. Huh? I'll put you in the microwave. Okay, everything that just happened, we'll cut that out, right? Sure. Please. <laughs> <laughs> See fine girl, anyway, Sha. <laughs> oh, take two, take two. <laughs> so basically, what I did, I, I I'm so weird. Like, <laughs> Pretend that you're talking to no one. Don't even look at yourself, look at the camera lens. Look Where's the camera? Oh, like, I was like, why is my eye going like that? <laughs> Do we see bit by bit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> 
basically what why are you laughing okay. <laughs> and i won't mean to kill you <laughs> I did a go see small small bit by bit to the blended pepper paste with the palm oil and you just stir it to give it that nice thick but not too thick consistency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very tantalizing. Oh that looks so nice and I know. thick. Uh -huh. It's so right. good. So this is the goat meat. We took the stock out earlier. Now we're gonna put the actual meat inside. Oh, my mom is going to be so proud of it. She's going to be like, oh wow, she went to college and learned something. Like, she didn't go to Carrie Belly, come back home. I like that. She's going to say she didn't go to Carrie Belly. You can see it's such a shame. Found it, you're the one. Everyone makes it differently. I honestly could care less. As long as it goes in my stomach. First thing I do whenever I wake up is take three of these a day. Throughout the day, I'll also consume this. Consume. <laughs> Regular people eat. Fresh do you consume. It's literally just a juice mix, but it's actually a blend of different vitamins. Last week I went home to stay with my family. One particular night I was thinking, I really didn't know what I was trying to remember, but I was trying to put my finger on a childhood memory and then finally clicked. I remembered when I used to read Dork Diaries and I would fantasize a future love. I would fantasize all the things that the girl in the book would go through and I was like, I can't wait to experience that in my future. And then I thought about watching Wild Kratts and I thought about missing the bus to watch another episode of Curious George. During that time, I remember itching to grow up. I remember wanting a future and now I look back and I reminisce and I'm jealous of past me. Past me was never anxious. Past me just lived in the moment and because of that little moment where I just had an opportunity to think about how much I just miss her, it makes me want to live every day moving forward so that future me will be jealous of current me the same way I'm jealous of past me. Life is a crazy life. I always think we're thrown in this world and we're just told to live. And we're just told to live. It's just so weird. And every day we have to define what it means to live. We have to define what this life means to us. And these days I've been finding a healthier definition. Living is being healthy in your mind and your outer body and embracing that to the fullest extent. Because at the end of the day, this is my life. One day we'll die. And I want to make sure that before I die, I can be jealous of the life that I live. It's been 
this has a source of light cause <laughs> For those of you that are oblivious, let me show you how this is eaten. So you take some and you roll it up into a ball in your fingers like this. And you scoop, you got some soup in it, and then you eat. attention just flow drops in another dimension i'm gonna have these two oh and then i'm gonna also take myself some water something that i don't show a lot in this video is how much water i drink i drink so much water um water is really good for you if your pee is the color of this perfume change that water is so essential to your nutrition i know a lot of people say it helps with skin my skin is kind of acting up right now but i'm also on my period so i honestly that could be another reason but like my skin is on a whole thing right now i don't know what's wrong with her so if you're not getting enough water in make sure you get water i have about three of these a day not counting the other sources of water that i could see i'm gonna go for this up we're gonna go to the courtyard so cooking on 350 so those are gonna be in there i'm just gonna keep checking on them occasionally hopefully it doesn't take too long because it's almost it's almost six o'clock y'all my concept of time is so warped it blows my mind like six o'clock lunch six it's not even gonna be done till like 6 30 i don't i don't get it but i have this chicken right here i just don't understand what am i supposed to do with this baby yeah it's whatever it's a, it's a, it's whatever i can't literally like why am i eating lunch right now the sun is basically setting people are going to sleep <laughs> what is my problem i don't know i don't know i'm working on it
Y'all heard something? <laughs> I wish I wasn't so hard on myself. I wish I wasn't so driven by the fact that I have to accomplish 20,000 things in one day. I've been provided with the opportunity to have roommates. And when I see how they live, I think to myself, why do they have so much free time? Why do they have so much time to just chill and do nothing? And then I look at my outline of my day and it's just packed. Part of me is like, okay, that's good. Because since it's packed, I have a head start on life and I'm running on two feet. So I'm gonna accomplish more in a shorter time. I will disappear off the face of the earth for like the next 30 minutes. And then another part of me is like, why? Why does that matter? Why are you destroying your mental state for the sake of accomplishing a lot in such little time? Not for show up on my shelf. Good morning. It's actually afternoon. Today my schedule is a little bit hectic. I say a little bit just so I don't stress myself out. I have a permit test at three o'clock. I'm probably just gonna take a snack with me and go. Hello. So I'm back from gracefully failing my permit test. That was so exciting. I will be rescheduling. I have some leftovers from yesterday from what I ate for lunch. So I'm gonna eat some of that right now. This is what it looks like. It's not as pretty as yesterday's, but it's still good. I hate when ketchup squirts out the syrup part, the corn syrup part first. Like, I know you're made of corn syrup, but don't remind me. Better. I think the fact that I'm young and I do so much at a young age has definitely just become a part of like my personality. I feel like I have to hold on to that identity, if not... Who am I? And then another part of me is like, why do I have to hold on to that identity? It's okay if you take a couple breaks. And it's a constant battle in my head. That constant battle just drains me to the point where I just shut down and just don't do anything. I just stay stagnant. And I'll be moving in the same place. in the same place. Like I do. And I'll be moving in the same place. Moving in the same place. Like I do. I know it's not healthy for me, but how do you run away from thoughts that are in your mind? Sometimes I wish I could just take out my brain and set it, you know, set it to the side and just, just pause and not care so much. Just take a break and not care about everything around me, not care about if everyone's doing okay, not care about if work is getting done. I just wish, I wish I wasn't so hard on myself. Mmm. So the waffle is just an egg waffle. I don't have a waffle maker, so we out of to go what I have. Uh, yeah. This is what I usually make whenever food is about to go bad, like potatoes and stuff. This is a medley of different vegetables. So I have sweet potatoes, russet potato, um, plantain, and then on top. For some reason, I think this type of fish is meat. Bible devotion and today actually this past three days I watched this video and took notes on it 
and it was just literally talking about sex. The title was, There's No Condom for Your Heart. 10 out of 10 recommend. Here in college, sex culture is really normal. You probably came for a video about food and I'm here talking about sex. Just but it's really important. Sex culture is so common here. And personally, I want to like live a Christian lifestyle. Most Christians choose to wait till marriage. And I just finished watching that. I'll link it down below. And if I forget, search up the title on YouTube. There's no condom for your heart. It's really, really good. And it's definitely a watch if you're interested. I love it. So I just wanted to recommend her as I eat my breakfast. I feel like I eat so gross whenever I'm talking and eating. Like some people look cute when they eat. I'm not some people. <laughs> Sorry. I go deep in the night. Hey, hey, hey. I'm take anything but sleep. Your party ain't right. Put that little baby on. So I'm doing a lot right now. It's really suffocating because I feel like, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like, <gasps> I have an assignment due in three hours. Three hours. This is what I've been talking about. I feel like I always am working, but I'm never doing enough. But I am doing enough. I'm doing a lot. But like, <sighs> this week I went through one of the hardest challenges that I've ever gone through with someone that I love so, so much. And in that time i had to figure out where i really stand with my relationship with god do i trust do i trust him enough do i trust him to take it all or do i just say that there's a verse that says a person who falls easy during adversity never had much to them to begin with and it's funny to think because so many times i had little things that shook my ground and i got back on my feet i would celebrate but now that big things are being thrown at me i'm almost confused and conflicted so does that verse apply to me not a lot of people think about these things and i know you're probably gonna shoot to the comments and be like here's help and i already know all the answers i know what i'm supposed to be doing it just sucks that i am in this headspace like you gotta get low <laughs> i hope that someone relates someone understands someone doesn't feel too alone because so many times i feel alone in this type of way of thinking but i hope that i don't remain in this mindset it's not healthy it's not safe i'm not comfortable in my own mind and i hope to look back on this time of my life in the future and be like wow i've grown out of that and i'm so proud of the fact that i have grown out of that because i know i will with love fresh deal.